CS man at Detroit Golf Club, Jason Langwell, the tournament's executive director, is with us again. Thank you for always taking time to, to be with the fans and be with us on the air, Jason. Good morning. Good to be with you. You know the crowds have been so eager to get back here. You guys have done an amazing job. Uh, as you see the, the, the grounds filled with people even early in the morning, I, I wanted to ask you this morning just the, the future of this event and because there is so much buzz about coming back next year and the future of it. Do you have any answers for golf fans here in Detroit? Well, the future's bright. You know, we're excited about the future, uh, but focused on today. Uh, it's been so much to, to get ready and to prepare us to, to have, this, uh, have this event this year, and we're excited about the future. Once we, once we get that final putt drop, uh, we'll, we'll turn our attention to uh, 22 and beyond, but uh, we're really excited about it. And reasons to be. I mean, it's just been an unbelievable atmosphere out here yeah. to see so many little kids, grown adults, families come out together. I know something you pointed out to me yesterday was, look at all the different hats, look at the gear. And my phone's been blowing up from different family members and friends saying, can you please get us this? Can you get yeah. us this? I said, just get it when you get here Friday. Yeah. And they were nervous because of 2019 right. when they sold out. This year, not the case, but you guys are still cruising. We are still cruising. I mean, we've got great gear, Grayson, Level Wear, uh, Eastside Golf, uh, Cobra Puma's got great gear in there. I mean, we've, we've had record year again. We, as you mentioned, we ordered more than any other event in our peer group of other events in uh, 2019 by 25%. We ordered 40% more. <laughs> <laughs> this year and we're still cruising through it so uh, our Detroit fans love our gear um, merchandise sales have been brisk as have ticket sales and our fans are just supporting us and we love it do people at other tournaments go wait you guys ordered how much and people are wearing how much well it's crazy it's scary right these these shirts aren't in fashion somehow you know two weeks from now so you don't want to have the inventory but we'll we're not worried about that right now fans are coming out and really supporting us how do you wrap your head around this entire process the week of getting people back here a few months ago not knowing how you could sell tickets or when you would be able to and then just seeing how it's all unfolded it's crazy, you know, I've, I've wore out my favorite quote with our team, uh, you know, a bend in the road isn't the end of the road unless you fail to make the turn. And that's all we've been doing is figuring out ways to kind of accelerate through the turns that we've run into. And uh, we just got an unbelievable team of people, and, uh, you know, between our volunteer force, Detroit Golf Club, Rocket Mortgage and their team. Um, we just got an amazing team that's been focused and staying positive yeah. and controlling what we can control. And uh, I feel like we've done a great job to do that as a community and we're poised for just an unbelievable final day. I'll echo that, man, with the volunteers. I don't think I met one grumpy volunteer over the last three yeah. years. Everyone is just like giddy to be out here and maybe your own golf. Yeah, it's true. We've got a great leader, our former mayor, Dennis Archer, a uh, leader of our volunteer committee. Noel Johnston is an unbelievable leader on our team. And we've got, you know, over 1,500, you know, amazing volunteers that give their time to make this happen. It just wouldn't be possible without them. Looking forward to seeing you exhale on that 18th green today. Thank you uh, so much, Jason. Thanks. thanks.